Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. The power of personal excellence. The power of personal excellence. First, let me begin by making a statement. Excellence is not a gift. Please write that down. You are not born with excellence. Excellence is an attitude generated by a spirit. Excellence is an attitude generated by a spirit. All of you know, as you encounter the corporate world and the, the, the development in business for the 21st century, that every industry, including the one in my country that is now the leading minist ministry of tourism, uh, everyone is talking about quality control. Everybody's talking about management of quality control. And every company is trying to get the edge on quality because the market is so saturated with so many different types of products and types of services that the future is not is not belonging to those who just produce products it is no longer belonging to those who just supply service the future belongs to those who have the edge on excellence in service or excellence in quality. That's the difference between success and mediocrity in the next century in business. So this organization, like any other company, must concentrate from the top down on excellence and quality rather than just products and service. Everybody is selling products and everybody supplies a service, but only the few at the top supply quality service and excellence in products. Excellence is defined as, write this down, highest quality. Not just high quality, highest quality. Another word, superior standard. Superior standard. Thirdly, <laughs> extreme quality. Extreme quality. Excellence is not just quality. It goes to the extreme. And finally, excellence is defined as maximum quality. Maximum quality quality. So to work as a supervisor or manager or a leader or anyone else and to work less than excellent, you are literally working below your true ability. Excellence will cost you what mediocrity will save you. Excellent people will conquer what average people will complain about. Is that true? Most of the people who don't get ahead in life don't because they're too busy complaining about why they can't get ahead in life. But an excellent person conquers the things average people complain about. Excellent people pursue solutions Average people stare at problems. Write that down. That's good to tell your downline. 
<laughs> Excellent people pursue solutions. Average people stare at problems. Excellence orchestrates in the mind, translates into speech, and demonstrates in your life. I repeat, excellence originates and orchestrates in your mind. Then it translates in your speech and it demonstrates in your life. You don't have to ask a person if they are excellent. Have you noticed? You can tell by the way they dress. You can tell by the way they talk to you. You can tell by the way they organize what's around them. You can tell by the way they order their words when they speak. Excellence is not imposed from the outside. It is released from the inside. If you and I are going to be effective leaders and if we're going to inspire people to be excellent, they are going to have to see it in our mindset, our demonstration of life, and in our speech. Excellent people make improvements, not excuses. Boy, that's a good thought. I'll repeat it for you. Excellent people make improvements, not excuses. We who are leaders of the other leaders, that are on their way to becoming leaders like we are leaders. <laughs> we should encourage people to pursue solutions to their obstacles and their oppositions and their challenges rather than letting them give excuses. A leader competes only with himself and herself. A true leader never compares him or herself with anyone. A true leader competes with himself and herself. So here are the principles of excellence that every human should know. Number one, don't settle for the average. Do not settle for the average. Average is the grave in which excellence is buried, isn't it? Average people strive to fit in while excellent people strive to stand out. You can never change what you accept. I repeat, you can never change what you accept. So don't settle for the average. You can never change what you refuse to confront. If you keep pretending that mediocrity is your best, then you will never proceed to excellence. You were not born to be an average person. This, therefore, is the challenge. We need to inspire people to not settle even when they seem to be successful. As a matter of fact, the greatest enemy of progress is your last success. When you settle on what you've done and believe you've achieved everything, you have just begun to die. Excellent people never settle for the average. Number two, develop a deep commitment to excellence. You will never be excellent until you decide that this is the lifestyle you will have. Develop a deep commitment to excellence. First, you should be the best, then you will be first. <laughs> you missed that, huh? Write it down. First, you must be the best, then you will be first. Got it? You think you got it. In business, everybody's trying to be first in the market. 
but that's the wrong pursuit. Excellent people don't try to be first. They try to be excellent. Therefore, first you should be the best. Then you'll be first. Michelangelo one day was painting the Sistine Chapel and you all know the story of Michelangelo, the most awesome painting in Rome. People travel all over the world to see this man's painting and you know what Michelangelo did, right? He lie on his back on a scaffold and he painted the entire ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. It's the most beautiful, awesome artwork in Rome, an awesome work. One day, the story goes, it's a true story, that Michelangelo was painting and one of his aides came in to check on him. When he walked into the chapel, there were candles everywhere, it was dark and musty, Michelangelo could not be seen, and so his friend and colleague cried out, Michael, he heard no sound. Michael, are you here? He heard some noise in the corner, in the dark, behind a post, up above the nave, in the secret corner where no one could see. Michael! And he heard a voice from way in the back, underneath the scaffold, behind the post, up above the ledge, in the dark corner of the chapel. And the answer came, yes, I'm busy. And the aide came and walked up and looked up in the darkness behind the post, way behind the rafters, and there's Michelangelo on his back with a painting brush in his teeth, one in his hand on his palette, and he is on his back painting the feathers of one of the little angels in the dark behind the post where no one will ever see. His colleague said, Michael, what are you doing up there? He said, I'm painting the ceiling. He said, but Michael, you are putting details on the feather, on the wings of an angel in the dark, behind the post, above the nave, beyond the rafters, where no one will ever see it. Why waste your time? And without catching a breath, Michelangelo spoke through the brush in his teeth and said, but God sees it. He keeps on painting. What a spirit of excellence. An excellent spirit does not work because people are watching. It doesn't work because it will be known. Excellence comes from a spirit an attitude on the inside. See, Michael was not working for the observation of people. He had an integrity with himself. He believed that everything he did should be the best he ever done, even if no one ever saw it. I think we should give Michael a hand for setting an example of excellence. That is why we cannot ignore Michael, because Michael was a man of excellence. Number three, possess ethics and integrity. Number three, possess ethics and integrity. A person of excellence will always possess these two things, ethics and integrity. You see, your gift will carry you where your character won't keep you. <laughs> How many of you know the story of Joseph in the Bible? I think we read his story. How many of you know the story of Samson? Okay, I'm going to give you a test. This is a test of integrity. <laughs> Which one was stronger, Samson or Joseph? Joseph. Now Samson had all the muscle. Samson had all the physical strength. Samson could pick the gate of the city on his back and take it to the hill. Samson
killed a thousand men with his bare hands and a jawbone. Samson was so powerful, he broke a temple to pieces by his bare hands. The guy was a monster. But Joseph had no muscle. Never killed a thousand men with his hands. Never destroyed a temple with his arms. And yet Joseph was stronger than Samson. Why? Because morality is stronger than talent. We don't take advantage of people in our downline. We don't violate family. We don't violate marriage. We respect people's opinions. In other words, excellence has a commitment to ethics and high morality. We know in reality that morality is stronger than energy. Joseph was a greater man than Samson because you remember Pharaoh's wife who was married wanted Joseph to sleep with her. She came into the room when Joseph was coming out of the bath and she came in with nothing on and Joseph only had a towel. <laughs> Samson met a woman with everything on <laughs> and he could not control his desires. Joseph was so strong on the inside that the story says he dropped the towel and ran naked away from the woman. To me, that's a stronger man. We in this organization and in any company should commit ourselves to the strength of ethics and integrity above personal satisfaction and gratification. Ethics are moral standards grounded in principles that govern your beliefs and convictions. Ethics are mental attitudes based on beliefs that control your behavior. What you believe manifests how you behave. Integrity is integration of your words with your behavior. What you say and do are supposed to be consistent if you are a person of integrity. An excellent spirit is a spirit of what? Integrity. Integrity. Write this down, please. Integrity is the integration of your word and behavior. Integrity is the integration of your word and behavior. Excellence produces trust. Why? Because people watch what you say and to see if it equals what you do before they trust you. Leaders, true leaders, are people who cause others to trust them because they say what they mean and they mean what they say. If you're going to be a person of excellence in leadership, you must integrate your words with your action. If you promise someone you're going to give them a call, give them the call. If you promise someone you're going to meet with their group, then do all in your power to show up and be at that meeting. If you promise someone that you will send them some products at a certain time, do all in your power to deliver on that promise. Why? Because excellence is integrity. What you say is what you do, and what you do is what you said. The word integrity is from the word integrate, which means to be one. What you say is exactly what you are. Credibility and character then are results of integrity. Number four, an excellent leader shows genuine respect for others. Show genuine respect for others. To respect means to honor, to esteem, to value highly, to place much worth on another. I'm going to repeat this again because you and I need to do this with those we work with. To respect means to honor, to esteem, 
to value highly, to place much worth on another. My question to you as a supervisor and a manager of your downline is this. What are people to you? To most companies, people are just employees. They are not separate, worthy humans. To most companies, people are just pawns in a big game that make it work. What are people to you? To others, people are just opportunities for me to use to get my life ahead. You see, listen carefully. What is your value of a human? And how do you see others? People know when you respect them and when you don't. So don't fake it. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Respect the worth and value of people. Excellence manifests itself in honoring people. Number five, go the second mile. Go the second mile. Excellence is manifested in people who are not afraid of doing their best. <laughs> Christians should go the second mile, but everybody should, but especially Christians. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. Dot in your precious name. Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.